Hey guys, welcome to the Left Coast, and um, I'm super pumped today because um, Chronic Dev Team announced a jailbreak for uh, A5 devices. So this includes iPhone 4S and iPad 2. Yay! Um, this took a little longer than expected, but we are super pumped to uh, finally get our hands on it. So um, if you're wondering how to jailbreak it, it's actually incredibly easy. Probably one of the easiest jailbreaks I've ever had to do. So um, let's just jump into to, to let's just jump into a tutorial and I'll show you how to do it if you can't figure it out yourself um, before we get into it I recommend please back up your device um, yeah crap happens so uh, it sucks so make sure your device is backed up and uh, yeah let's just get right into it okay guys so here we are by the computer um, I'm gonna be jailbreaking this on a Mac today but uh, you can follow the exact same steps on a PC um, for starters, you're just going to go to settings, and if you have a passcode, make sure that's disabled. So, um, okay, yeah, so just make sure your passcode is disabled. And then, okay, so here we have uh, AppSynth, um, and it, all you have to do, no DFU mode, no nothing, you just hit jailbreak, and it starts. So now it's um, doing its thing. Now we wait. Okay, well, this should take about uh, 10 to 20 minutes. Um, it took my computer a bit of a longer time, but I've heard some people only take in uh, 10 to 5 minutes. So um, through the process, you'll see your iPhone actually turn back on at one point, and you need to just let it sit there um, and let the jailbreak do its thing. Uh, don't touch it. <laughs> um, uh, finally, it gets to the end, and the, the bar is completely full, and uh, that's when you know... Um, your jailbreak is done okay so then the last step you need to do is unlock your iphone and find the app called app synth and then click it and it will uh, flash a white screen and reboot your phone once again and after that you should have cydia um if cydia doesn't work the first time if it doesn't open all you need to do is reboot your phone once again okay guys so if you're like me and able to follow some pretty simple instructions you should now have a uh, Cydia on your iPhone 4S and now you can tweak away. Yes. Um, I'm pretty pumped to get some of my uh, favorite tweaks back. So, um, yeah, uh, we have a lot of episodes coming in the next week on, uh, Siri hacks and sort of functional things like that. So you can add a little more power to Siri and, uh, also a lot of other iPhone 4S and iPad 2 exclusive, uh, Cydia tutorials coming out. So, um, you might want to consider subscribing or just sticking around for some future videos. So, um, yeah, uh, big thanks to Chronic Dev Team for getting this uh, jailbreak out to us. Sweet. I'm pumped. Um, it took a little longer than expected, but you know what? <laughs> it's better late than never, and uh, we're super pumped for all the hard work you put into it. So make sure you give those guys props online. And, uh, yeah, thanks for another watching another episode of Left Coast TV. I hope to see you around.